where can I run? So now, uh, let's run this uh, topic for democracy recruitment. So please make sure you are in the, in the right room, okay? I'm Jason, the moderator for today. And it's quite full now, so uh, if I can kindly ask you to just move a little bit inside because I believe there will be more people coming after we started. Yeah, and everyone just be comfy. You can sit just on the floor or share a chair with someone else. I don't know. <laughs> Try everything you could. Okay, so uh, I'll speak in Chinese if that is not a problem because we have more uh, local participants here in this room. Okay? Uh, so if you are coming from the other side, or if you have not found a place, then you are the last chance to go out. <笑>好這個這一場活動很特別因為有來自三個地方用數位工具的實踐民主的一個案例好從台大到韓國到即將舉行選舉的巴西那我們今天會從巴西的案例開始巴西這個案例對大家來說會非常非常有感覺是因為
the loser candidate, Aesio Neves. And Aesio Neves, after that election, started to treat electoral institutions in Brazil, saying that election was a fraud. And obviously, once he threatened the electoral institutions, uh, many supporters started to use social media and, and online channels to spread that message that election was a fraud. And as well, uh, we had also uh, political actors uh, and political movements uh, starting to claim the Dilma Rousseff impeachment. And we had, uh, in 2016, the impeach impeach impeachment of our elected president, uh, Dilma Rousseff. So I'm, I'm, I'm saying this because um, after Dilma Rousseff uh, impeach, uh, there was a promise to rebuild political institution trust. So uh, they are they are stating the the, the the new government are stating they are they need to rebuild uh, Brazil uh, and rebuild the trust on political institutions to improve our democracy. But what happened, it was totally the opposite. Uh, Michel Temer, the, 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 the president, uh, was accused for, uh, to be involved in many corruption cases, including uh, with photo and videos of an uh, advisor of him uh, gathering a, a bag of, uh, full of money and people will start to become angry and angry uh, 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 with the, the, those situation. And what, what was worse yes, is uh, not only the presidents was affected by this uh, lack of trust in, in political institutions. So we have uh, our judicial system uh, accused to be biased on, on on left-wing uh, uh, political actors' uh, judgments, and at the, at the Congress, of, of course, uh, was accused to be all involved to support that case of corruption of our president. So this polarization uh, in Brazil obviously generates a deepened lack of trust, in not only in political institution but all the institutions in Brazil. Uh, if we look for this, uh, uh, this uh, the trust barometer, global report, and we say, uh, we look the, look for the Brazilian uh, position on that. Uh, we have we are figuring as one of the six countries with extreme trust losses, and so. Uh, when we look about that and, 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 and think about the consequences of polarization and political polarization, we, we need to, to, to think how can we uh, rebuild uh, political trust once polit politics needs uh, so much of institution to be uh, supported and, and what, what I mean is, uh, politics doesn't exist without institutions. But if the institutions are all corrupted, how can we rebuild that trust uh, on government and political institutions? Oh, or in other words, how we can improve democratic institutions when democratic institutions are running weak? So, uh, Mudamos uh, is a mobile app. To, that allow people to collect digital signatures to support citizens' initiative draft bills. And when, what, what, when we started to think how we should be build that mobile app uh, to make the uh, digital signature, the, the signature collection easier, we start to think not only to get it on a digital platform, but also creating a system of trust that could be trustless trust. 
uh, it means. Uh, it doesn't depend uh, to uh, one central or one centralized centralized institution to uh, get uh, to make it reliable. To make it reliable. So uh, when we were uh, designing the the technical uh, structure of Mudamus, we had it in mind. So. Uh, before I, I go forward, uh, in Brazil, we, we have uh, a, a dish, um, civil right. People can present uh, citizens' initiative draft bills to any state level uh, with gathering a, a minimum amount of signatures. But in Brazil, for the national level, we need one million and a half signatures that before Mudamos, it should be made on paper and distributed for at least five different states in Brazil. So since this, this right uh, 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 was, uh, was created, or, or since our constitution established this, this right in 1988, only five laws was uh, presented in that way. So it's almost a right created for our, our new uh, or last uh, constitution, but it not could be effective. Uh, it doesn't have effectiveness uh, or it was almost impossible to regular people do the, those campaigns. So we designed the Dumbos, uh to create a digital way to, to present those uh, draft bills uh, using uh, a digital tool to get the uh, uh, signature gathering easier. Uh, so, coming back, what we're doing about trust and, and, and the importance to think uh, in a digital tool, trustless trust in a in a context that we have too many, too much uh, lack of trust in our political and our institutions in general, uh, we think Mudamos as a trustless trust system uh, regarding um, implementing a asymmetric cipher to uh, guarantee the authenticity uh, of signature generated by Mudam. So. How it works, uh, people when download the mobile app Mudamos and put their personal data, like uh, the, including their electoral ID, and once they, they register, uh, Mudamos create a private key that only exists on, that, on the user's cell phone and uh, correlated the, the, the personal data with a public key that allow uh, we verify uh, all the signatures generated by mobile phones uh, with Mudamos. Uh, it's important because uh, this is a public database. So everyone who wants to check the signatures can do by itself. It's a, a, a free software algorithm uh, to verify uh, the, the of signature, uh, signature verifications. So, uh, to sign a, a, a draft bill, user uh, choose uh, uh, from many uh, options of, 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 of choose from a list of um, draft bills listed listed on Damos. And once people uh, tap for sign, this data, this personal data, is hashed or it's, it's created a signature from that data. And these signatures are stored uh, on Mudamos. So, uh, and anytime you need to uh, verify those signatures, you can do it by the public keys uh, related to personal data. So, it's possible to verify the signatures, but not possible to recreate the signatures. It's important. So, uh, no actor on the that environment can curate uh, signatures by themselves. Uh, uh, 
only users uh, uh, with registered with Mudamos with their mobile phones can generate uh, one signature by, by time. So we, they can't uh, fraud uh, without uh, corrupt the entire uh, systems of uh, signature generation. So at least uh, Mudamos made a regular publishing of those signatures. It means uh, it generates the list of signatures in a public uh, list in a, in a readable, human, human readable uh, way, like uh, uh, PDFs. And those uh, PDFs are uh, blockchain, uh, are registered on blockchain, public blockchains. And everyone who wants to track uh, uh, the signature gathering evolution can do as well by itself, by, by themselves. And uh, not in they not depend uh, from any special resource from those. All are public algorithm of asymmetric uh, keys, as asymmetric cipher uh, uh, or that we can easily uh, find, find in, on the internet. So, um, how much time I have? Okay, good. No, I was, I was rushing, thinking that I would not be able to talk about everything. So, um, as uh, every civic back to uh, or experimentation, uh, we had um, many challenges. Uh, we faced many challenges. And one of them was uh, about uh, the participation literacy. So when we published Mudamos, we had a huge uh, search for Mudamos. We already have uh, uh, 7,000, no, 700,000 downloads uh, uh, of Mudamos. And we had more than 400,000 signatures collected on the platform. People, uh, once people uh, known about Mudamus, they got excited and aimed uh, to participate immediately, and and it got very viral uh, on social uh, media networks. And we realized that, that uh, if if we have a lack of trust. We also have a lack of participation in Brazilian uh, uh, democracy. And people want to participate. So once they have a channel to participate, they uh, uh, started to, to be motivated to do it. But uh, many of them doesn't, uh, don't know how to participate, and especially uh, when we talk about to create laws, laws uh, most of time are, are solved by people uh, like something far from us that we can't understand how it, it's, it's reading, uh, how uh, it, it is voted. So people doesn't know uh, how the, the, the legislative process goes. Um, so, uh, connected to Mudamos, we created this uh, initiative called Virada Legislativa. Uh, this is a legislative hackathon. Uh, we created to put people together to learn how to build laws. Uh, and we created a seven step methodology uh, to demonstrate to people how easy it, it could uh, create how easy create laws could be. Uh, and this hackathon works like a, a technical hackathon. So you, you have masters, uh, that, but our masters are not coders or software engineers, but lawyers. <laughs> and, and with this methodology, uh, we could create, uh, we have uh, four editions of Vila Legislativa until now, uh, and we could create more than 10 draft bills 
on those uh, legislative hackathons. Uh, the Data Legislativa have, has three principles. Uh, Multi-stakeholderism uh, is collaborative and openness. And it's interesting because, for instance, this is our pictures from the first Vila Legislativa in the city of João Pessoa in northeast of Brazil. And now our methodology uh, based on the multi-sector stakeholderism uh, principle. Uh, we include the uh, city councillors on that discussion. It, is, it, it, is, it means um, uh, we are not creating their views to be against the legislative uh, or the, the representative democracy, but to collaborate uh, with uh, the uh, democ representative democracy and build laws uh, together. Uh, so, at least I gave you this message. Uh, when, when we create a, a mindset uh, of sharing, uh, we can create systems more reliable. Uh, so, uh, as Mudamos uh, think uh, when we started to develop it, to create means to people to participate and get integrated on the uh, legislative and the law of creation. Uh, we think as much as we can share uh, uh, knowledge and uh, the means of action for the people, we, can, we create strong uh, democracy. Um, so I have one minute, but uh, this is very, uh, uh, Quick, I was, uh, I, I'm saying. So, uh, lessons and learnings in this process. Uh, we had, we faced the challenge of literacy. That is a very huge uh, challenge. But also, as we, I, I, as I said, I saw in Pablo Aragon uh, presentation yesterday. Uh, when we talk about petitions, uh, we uh, faced many, many many challenges to how to get people motivated to participate and uh, distrib distribute or uh, asking other people to sign those, those petitions. So we had many uh, draft bills and petitions that started with many signatures, but uh, along the time they, they uh, start to become uh, warm and, and they, they are facing uh, difficulties to, to get the minimum amount of signatures. So, moving to digital was not uh, uh, the wasn't the, the answer to get uh, the to solve all the problems. So many problems we face on physical world, uh, we are facing on the digital world. So we, it was my, our uh, biggest lesson on this process. So thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Marco. So uh, we will have the Q&A session for the after three panelists. Okay. I think that I think you have a lot of your kind of. Uh, for three years, you have you have you have signed for the mark. You have signed for all kinds of签书啊，有的请举手。好，所以这间房间大概有九成的人都曾经签过名。有人上街去呃帮忙各阵营收收集签名的，也有。好，所以等一下可以问一下他们怎么样降低那样的。然后马可最后也有提到，其实，在实体世界遇到的问题，在数位的工具上面也会遇到。那到底 blockchain 或是这些新的技术，到底实质上面解决了什么样子的问题？ literacy 的问题有没有办法被解决？等下 Q&A session 的时候，大家可以尽量发问。